Hello everyone, we will continue our case study for sales order report and in the previous video, we used the modularization technique subroutine for our field catalog part. Now what we will do for this whole data declaration and this select options or we can say whatever the selection screen or input screen part is there, we will use the modularization technique include programs. We all know and we covered this include program modularization technique. It is available as a part of a PAP programming playlist. Whenever you have the huge data declarations Always, always prefer the modularization technique, include programs. So now what I will do, I will create two include programs. One for this data declaration, one for this particular selection screen or input screen part. Now it is totally your wish. You can create include program separately. You can go to SC38, create include program and use into this particular program. But from this program, from this ABAP editor itself, we can create the include program. It will navigate us to SC38 only. It is totally your wish how you want to create. Suppose if I will show you from here itself, I can create a include program. Ultimately, it will navigate me to SC38 only. So how to create include program? The keyword is include. Now we all know the first letter should be Z or Y. Suppose I'm saying Z data underscore sales o r d i will put dot i will go for double click it is asking do you want to create include program yes i want to create include program yes you can see this is sc38 pop up only if you are creating a program through sc38 you are getting same to same pop-up. Now we are already getting that type as include program. But if you are going for SC38 to create, you need to choose from there. Yes, the type will be include program. I will go for save. Do not save as a local object because our whole case study will be our own package and in the transport request. I will go for save. I will use this transport request. Now, what I will do, I will simply cut this particular logic and paste into this include program. I will paste. I will just activate this include program. Now I will activate the main program also. So now whatever the data declarations we will do in this program, I will declare into this include program. Now for this particular input screen or selection screen part also, I will create a include program. Include. Now suppose I will give the name Z S E L suppose underscore sales O R D. I will double click. I will go for yes. You can use SC38. You can go for SC38 in a separate session. You can create from there also. Now you can see we are getting the type as include program. This is ultimately SC38 pop-up only. I will go for save. 
I will save into package and I will save into transport request. Now I will simply, simply cut this logic of selection screen or input screen and I will paste into this include program. I will activate this include program. Now I will activate the main program. So this is the way I created the include programs for all the data declaration and selection screen part. And that is the best use of modularization technique, include program. Now in this particular video, we will cover one more part also. And it is obviously understood by the technical person. It is mentioned or not mentioned in the FS. It is always a technical person responsibility to create a transaction code of your program. So we will create a transaction code also for our program. This is our program. So now whenever we want to create a transaction code for our program, we need to go to which transaction code? SC93. Now I will give some name to that transaction code. Again, naming conventions will play a vital role. So I will give the naming convention ZTC underscore relevant name. Suppose I am writing ZTC underscore sales. Suppose I will go to create. I will give the short text transaction code for sales order. Now, do not go for first radio button. We will go for second radio button. We have a executable program and you can see the first word in our program. First word in our program is report report. So it means we need to go for what report transaction or you can understand in a way also our program has selection screen. Yes, our program has selection screen or input screen. So we'll simply go for second radio button. Now I will give the name of the program. We all know, yes, whenever we have the executable programs, yes, but is the number of the selection screen. It is always, always thousand. It is automatically appearing. I will pass the name of the program. Thousand is always, always the number of selection screen or input screen. I will simply select these three check boxes. I will go for save. Please save into your package and transport request. Suppose if I will run this program independently, those who have confusion for thousand screen number, you can see this is your selection screen or input screen. If you want to check the number, go for system status. You can see what is the number of selection screen or input screen. It is always, always thousand and it's automatically appeared here. Now we have that transaction code is ready. So can we always run this program through transaction code? Yes. So suppose I'm putting slash n transaction. Now you can see we are navigating to our main program itself. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we covered two things. For our data declaration and selection screen part, we created two include programs and we all know include program is also a modularization technique and we should always, always use include program whenever we have the huge data declarations in the program. 
After that, we created that transaction code for our program with the help of SC93 transaction code. And the thousand is the by default number for the selection screen or input screen. In the next video, we will simply, simply go for this data error handling part. Error handling part. If we are giving wrong input or if they know data is coming, yes, we will do this error handling part. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.